Welcome to the Ultra Blue channel where we provide detailed guides and tutorials to help you master technology. Today, we'll be covering how to optimize Kelly Linux for performance. Whether you're a tech enthusiast, a professional, or just someone looking to get the most out of your system, this guide is for you. Before we dive in, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay updated with our latest tutorials. Your support helps us to create more valuable content. The first step in optimizing Kali Linux is to ensure your system is up to date. Open your terminal and type in sudo apt update. And then give it some few seconds to update your, your packages. Now type in sudo apt upgrade. space hyphen y dash y then it's going to go ahead and upgrade the updated packages for you now go ahead and type in sudo apt disk dash update space hyphen y and then hit enter um did i make a mistake sudo apt this uh yeah i made a mistake in the spelling hyphen updates space hyphen y i think i should get it better now what a minute is there something i'm missing here sudo apt disk yes yes oh upgrade better work this time great so these commands will update the package list upgrade all install packages and perform a distribution upgrade. Keeping your system updated ensures you have the latest security patches and performance improvements. Next, let's remove any unnecessary packages that may be slowing down your system. Use the following command to identify and remove them. So first of all, let's type suit. Z. Let's type sudo followed by apt auto remove space hyphen y and then we hit enter once more. And it's going to go ahead and remove any unnecessary package that may be slowing down our machine. Now that is done. The command also removes um, packages that were automatically installed to satisfy dependency for other packages and now has no or is no longer you needed. So since some services start automatically and consume system resources, you can disable unnecessary services to improve performance. List all services. Use a system. Oh, I, I think I had I once typed it again. So system. Um, system. CTL. Space lists. Dash units. Dash files. Space. Dash dash. Type equal service then we hit enter so this is going to go ahead and list all the services or it's going to identify all the services um, currently installed on your system 
so this is um, a newly it, it's a new virtual machine i'm running so most of the services running here are crucial for the machine to function effectively however if you've been using your machine for quite quite a while now it's going to have tons of services running in the background which might not be needed so if once you identify the services or the list of services you don't need or you don't require running in the background you can quickly disable them then followed by the name of the service you'd want to disable for instance let's say i wanted to disable um let's say this service right here so after writing the system the pseudo system ctl disable then i'm going to go ahead and key in the name of the system i would like to disable for instance if it was this one i'll simply copy it then i'll paste it here and then i'll hit enter however i don't know what that specific service does so i'm not going to disable it since i'm running a new um virtual machine i think every single service as of now is required by the system so i'm just going to leave it there however as i said earlier on if you had if you've been using your system for quite a while now you need to actually disable certain services you long you no longer require So now let's move on to installing another important tool called preload so the preload is a daemon that runs in the background and analyzes user behavior to predict the application you are likely to run it preloads these applications into memory reducing their load time so to install preload type in sudo let's clear this before we type in sudo apt install preload space hyphen y and hit enter and it's going to go ahead and install preload in your system so once preload is done um, preload will start automatically and improve your system responsiveness over time so that's what preload does the next is to the next step in optimizing your system is to adjust the swappiness swappiness determines how aggressive your system uses swap space the default value is 60 but you can reduce it to improve performance in order to get there you have to open the system the config file so to open it just type in sudo nano etc dash ctl dot conf enter so now we want to add or modify the following lines to reduce swappiness so in order to remove reduce the swappiness you can get the space preferably somewhere um, down here Create some space and type in vm i like to create space before so vm dot swappiness then let's say 10. once you are done you have to save changes to your work so press ctrl plus o press enter ctrl plus x to exit out now that the file is saved so now let's go ahead and type in sudo ctl then dash p and enter and great we have our swappiness set to 10. now we have our swappiness set to 10 and we are, we are good to go the next step is also to clear our catch so clearing catch can free up memory and improve performances to clear um, to clear the package cache use sudo space apt 
space clean. Hit enter and let it do its work. Another command you could also use is sudo apt auto clean. And then you hit enter and it's going to go ahead and do its work. To clear the system catch, use sudo sys ctl space dash w space vm dot drop dash catches equal three and then we drop the catches so in conclusion by following these steps you can optimize Kelly Linux for better performances ensuring a smoother and more efficient experience don't forget to subscribe to the ultra blue channel for more tutorials and tech guides if you found this video helpful give it a thumbs up and share it with others your support helps us create good and more high quality content such as this one see you in the next tutorial goodbye